This work is really about the field called multi-agent reinforcement learning, in which you have a bunch of learners that are all trying to learn to do something together uh, based on being individually reinforced on the basis of some score that they get. And the question is, uh, you know, how can they learn to work together? How can they solve things like the prisoner's dilemma? Well, that turns out to be a very, very hard problem for classical reinforcement learning because ordinary reinforcement learning only learns from the past. And that's fine if you're, if you're playing a video game and the video game stays the same as you adopt a new strategy. But if there are other players in that video game world with you, then when you change your strategy, they're going to notice and change their strategy. So the statistics of the environment are not constant. And they're learning too. So you have to learn about them and you have to learn to predict what they're going to do in response to what you do. And you have to learn that they're learning and that they're also predicting you and that they're predicting you predicting them and that you're predicting them predicting you predicting them, and so on. So, uh, so this is a really hard problem. And, and the, the, the paper, it's gotten to be 100 pages uh, or so and has some very, very complex math in it because modeling an environment that includes the thing that is modeling the environment and all the things in the environment that are modeling you back turns out to be a difficult problem. But the team has figured this out and, and the results are really cool. And the, the way you do this is by getting rid of the idea that you are outside the video game and putting yourself in the video game. So in other words, you have to not only model the environment uh, like you know, AlphaGo does, where you know, you're, you're thinking about a, a Go game or a chess game and you're just imagining the game. You have to imagine yourself playing the game as part of the environment. And you have to start to predict yourself and predict others. The reason is we have a face, if you like. Uh, you know, when I smile, I know what I feel like on the inside because I've built a model of myself. And when I see you smile, I can guess that you're happy too. And the only way that I can make those kinds of inferences is by knowing that we're similar, uh, by knowing that I also have a face and I do that when I'm happy. And, and it's that ability to empathize, to model the minds of others that is at the core of being able to solve the multi-agent reinforcement learning problem. Mm -hmm.